Hi, I'm Rick Schultz from Virtual Dynamics, and we're here today to talk about speaker setup. Now, in order to do a proper speaker setup, we do recommend having the right tools. The best tool for speaker setup nowadays is a proper laser-based distance measuring system. We've got two of them here, one from Bosch and one from Stabila, and both of these will be available through Virtual Dynamics. Now you want to, if you buy one of these tools, make sure it's calibrated properly. Always buy it from an authorized reseller. Um, make sure that, that you're getting uh, not a refurbished unit, but something that has guaranteed to have the accuracy. The accuracy is guaranteed on both units to be within a sixteenth of an inch. And uh, you can go ahead and, and read a little bit more about that on the site. But basically how they work is you press a button, and as you press that button it turns the unit on, and then we'll send a laser out. And then when you press the button again, it will actually give you a measurement. Now, the Stabila changes just a little bit because what it'll do for you, once you turn the unit on, it'll give you three different measurements and it will remember each one of those three. So you press it once, press it again, press it again, press it again, and it will continue to remember each one of those measurements as you continue to press it up to three different measurements. So you could average from that if you need to. Now, of course, we're not all about averaging in high-end audio. We want to make sure that we're getting the exact same number every time if it's possible. So that's why we want to really use a really good unit. And I personally do recommend, and I use the Stabila unit, although it's a little bit more money, it is a German-made unit, and I really feel that it's a really great pro quality product. So let's start off over here by showing you how to use this unit to be able to measure your distance from the back wall or side wall. <clears throat> now as we turn this unit on, we're going to measure from the back of the speaker to the back wall and we're going to start to take our measurements for the kind of distance that we have to that back wall. Right now I'm measuring in meters. And I notice that on each one of these, I'm getting exactly the same measurement. We're off by only one millimeter each time we measure which is a great tolerance. That's the kind of thing that we're looking for. You really don't want to be off more than a millimeter if you're setting up a really good pair of reference loudspeakers like these. Now you want to measure from the side wall and from the back wall, and you also want to be thinking this through because there's lots of things that can change your measurement, including the toe-in and the angle of your speaker as it said it here. So you want to spend a little bit of time and think through how you're going to be able to take your measurements. You want to make sure that the, the, the most important or the most critical is your speakers from the back wall. But if you have a close side wall, those have to be really carefully measured as well because your reflection from the speaker to back to the listener, if your, speaker, if your speakers are nice and close to the side wall, um, that's going to interact and play a lot more into the role than maybe even your back wall will if you can pull them forward. But whatever wall the speaker is closest to, that's the one that's going to be the most important. So, Next thing we want to show you is toe-in and how to use a laser to be able to do toe-in. Now for a really accurate toe-in, we've switched over to the Bosch, ma Bosch machine because it's way better. No, I'm just kidding. For a really accurate toe-in, we just decided to be able to use this other guy here and show you how both of them can work for the same thing. They both measure distance and they both can be used as a laser pointer to be able to do toe-in. Let me show you how that works. You put the unit up against the face of the, of the speaker and always make sure that it's at the same height. So if you level it to the top of here, make sure you do put it in the exact same place on your next speaker when you go to do it. As we shoot across, you can see that the, la the laser actually highlights on Mike's ruler over there. And we can see that we bring it to an exact point on that ruler. Now you're going to want to do this several times across the front of each loudspeaker because as you go to tow that loudspeaker in and you go to tow this loudspeaker you want to uh, by the way rock them on the back corner is what I suggest so that that back corner spike stays in the same place so that you're not going to uh, change the actual distance that you have from the wall and as you rock it on that back corner and you start to tow it in um, you're going to notice as you go back and forth that it's going to be increasingly hard to get the proper measurement. So you have to do it a few times in order to be able to get it right on the money. Now, if you've got it set so that it comes six inches in on one speaker, make sure that it's set so it comes exactly six inches in on the other speaker. That's the most precise and important measurement when it comes to towing. I'm Rick Schultz from Tips and Tweaks. We'll see you next time.